and we are starting right on time and i hope no one had to use a time traveling device to reach here on time uh, had i got an opportunity to do so i would have gone in past and future and i've tried to attend all the meetings till now so a very warm welcome to all the members and guests to the 141st meeting at the gabby's toastmaster i am chaitanya prasad and i will be your sergeant at arms for today before we start i need to highlight few key points they are very important key points for our meeting this meeting will be blocked for 2 hours and you all are expected to stay for 2 hours your video should be on and audio should be off audio should be on only when you are called to speak or you need to speak regarding the topics of sex religion and politics even though toastmaster international does not put any restriction on speaking on these topics at the gabby's toastmaster club however we request all the speakers and role takers to be mindful and responsible and abstain from expressing any controversial views on these sensitive topics also we urge you to be cognizant of the fact that we as a club practice diversity and inclusion in letter and in spirit hence ensure there are no sexist racist or any such undertones which create hostility and discomfort for members and guests I would like to call upon our presiding officer for the meeting today, Distinguished Toastmaster Nagesh Ramamurthy. Distinguished Toastmaster Nagesh Ramamurthy is a teacher, trainer, and a coach in the domain of construction. He has trained over seventy-five hundred professionals in the last decade. With his coaching, he has impacted over five hundred plus professional lives. In addition, with his experience of over three decades, he is a consultant who checks the health of occupied buildings. Over to you, Mr. Distinguished Mr. Toastmaster Nagesh. Mr. Don't Thank you so much. Give our SA a big round of applause. Good morning, Toastmasters. I welcome you to the meeting number one forty one. I declare the meeting open. I take this opportunity to welcome the the newest member of the Gabby family. Toastmaster Shilpi Tiwari, Toastmaster Shilpi, welcome to the Gabbies. We thank you, thank you, and thank you for choosing us to be your education and growth partner. Welcome to you. Thank you, thank you so much. Okay. Once I was uh, sitting on the steps at the ghat of uh, Sri Rangpatna. my legs were dipped in water kaveri and the water was gently flowing as i observed my feet for a few minutes i realized that the water was slowly massaging my feet and also cleansing my feet at that moment i thought and wished that i stayed there eternally like water flowing slight wing which is gushing through my ears as it passed by and on the other side of the bank so lush green with shrubs and trees those masters is it possible to stay blissed all the time eternally in that manner no we have to get back to the reality and be in that rat race to be the best person that we could be talking about the rat race it is sometimes race against time for all of us if you look back your lives that you have run from your past each one of us have been successful from whatever past we had in whatever manner we were in in whatever situations we were in we have to some extent grown there is a progression may not be to an extent that you expected but it's there there is development in our physical financial could be mental sometimes dental and psychological areas we all have grown i was asked in a table topic if you were to travel back and changed one thing what would that be those masters i spoke something nonsense back then but later i had a realization that i should have spoken something meaningful 
and i strongly believe life gives us a second chance isn't it so true here i am talking about that table topic today if i had to speak something meaningful it would be like this i wonder what would that be actually my parents well in my teenagers i used to hate them especially when i was in a college because my other friends were well off but today i know they did their best within whatever they had at that point of time they were wonderful and today i love them for whatever best they did for me my childhood why would i change that that's where i want to go back now and my school friends i am still with them they give me the daily boost every morning when i get up why would i remove them from my whatsapp group or why would i exit that whatsapp group no i wouldn't change that my college oh that was the best day of my days of my life i will not touch those days because i was very romantic those days i want to remember that the way it was my not so fantastic early career that has what has made me what i am today sometimes soft gentle and caring unlike my bosses who weren't and few times i'm tough irritated and angry so that's what life is uh, life is a mixed bag isn't it my profession well it has given me a lot at one part of time even i had thought that i am better off than those electronics and computer engineers uh software professionals and many others why would i go back in time and hop on to another track no i would not my family like buddha asked once i ask you is there anyone in this room who has not had their share of trials and tribulations situations in our family line for my daughter's alliance when people you ask me used to ask me uh what does your wife do i used to tell them she is a medical transcriptionist for 30 years works from home and also a homemaker but after i learned few tips and tricks from toastmasters i started telling them more truth i said she takes care of us which actually is the truth trust me toastmasters this line of truth has gotten me more appreciation even if the airlines has not moved forward so i love my family so i wouldn't change anything basically from my past for table topics maybe maybe one thing changed but actually in life is uh, life is not always table topics it's a prepared speech you need preparation rehearsals and change in scripts despite all that your performance on the stage is sometimes altogether different hence for you to be there where you want to be travel forward there are opportunities my best days is yet to come for me and i bel- believe that i will write that i am writing that script and it's going to be wonderful i'm sure of that what about yours think about it well let's take the meeting forward i would like to call upon the stage somebody who i have seen grow very tremendously so much that i wish i was him in last couple of months i've seen him as a software professional traveling in a uh, working in a travel company uh, who dances very well who is so very witty uh that i wait for his whatsapp messages i wait for saturday for him to come and take the stage and i'm so lucky today that he is the tmod of today's meeting please put your hands together to welcome toastmaster kartik venugopal thank you presiding officer for that lovely introduction please give a big round of applause to our dtm nagesh ramamurthy 
Hello, my dear Toastmasters and guests. A warm welcome to you to the Gabby's Toastmasters Club. And get ready to sail through time. Let us trick the time today. Let us forget time and tide waits for none. Let us think about playing with time and ocean's tide. But what is time travel? Time travel is a widely recognized concept in philosophy and fiction. It is always the same as is usually connected only with quantum mechanisms of wormholes. Time dilation is a direct consequence of uh, invariance of speed light. Alpha, gamma, beta, salt, tata. Well, I too didn't understand this textbook answer. I know most of you are confused as well. It's okay not to be Einstein's because every one of us are Robin Hoods of our lives. And let us understand time travel in a simple way. Time travel is a hypothetical activity of traveling into past or future. It's very simple. No quantum physics, alpha, gamma, beta, tata, nothing. It's just going to past or future. And this is achieved by a device known as time machine. And I chose time travel theme because I fascinated time traveling <clears throat> since my childhood. And many of you know I'm a great history buff. Since my childhood, I had a wish to invent time machine to witness greatest events of history and personally interview kings and queens. But some things are not under our control. I had to quit this dream of inventing time machine because whole of my student life taught me how to grab a job to work on a computer machine. Yes, that's the sad truth of life. But what if I had a time machine? What would I have done with it? The first thing I would have traveled back in 334 BC year. BC, it's before Christ, not direct chicken. And year 334 BC, witnessed the rise of great king. Alexander the Great. And I wanted to go back and ask him one question. Hey, Alexander, what's up, bro? How did you dream of conquering the whole world? Because I just, if I just park my vehicle in front of my neighbor's home, my neighbor starts screaming at me saying, you are trying to conquer my home. But how did you dream of parking your sword all across the world? Then I would have gone and met great scholars, Aristotle and Galileo who believed that earth is spherical in shape, but no one believed them. I would have traveled back in time and said to them, Aristotle and Galileo, it's fine. You are right. Earth is spherical in shape, not flat. And it's okay if no one believed you. You know, you, your names are written in the history with golden ink. And I would have given them a pizza from Domino's from 2023 and would have taken a selfie, smile, and then also would have promised them to create their Instagram accounts and would have promised them speech slots in Gabby's to share their wisdom because that's my part of job as VP education in Gabby's Online Toastmasters Club. What is Gabby's Online Toastmasters Club? We Gabby's are a big family and we do have two clubs, two hearts. One is we meet on Saturdays, that is Gabby's Toastmasters Club. And one we meet on Tuesdays, that is Gabby's Online Toastmasters Club. And then I would have met Vasco da Gama and showed him route to Antarctica. See, that is India route. So that he would have gone to Antarctica and I would have saved India from being invaded by foreigners from sea route for a few more years. And at last, I would have traveled back in time and met Ralph C. Smedley, the founder of Toastmasters International. And I would have told him, Hi, Toastmaster Ralph, you are a wonderful person. Thanks for creating Toastmasters. Toastmasters is really doing great. Toast to you. And I would have brought back him to 2023 to show him the glory of Toastmasters and made him attend today's meeting. Well, these are my wishes if I had a time machine. Today, we all will say it through time of our choice, expect, except one person. You know who is that? Toastmaster Chaitanya. Toastmaster Chaitanya, I'm sorry, uh, you will have to stay and obey time because you are a timer for today. So help all role takers to be in time, including me. So Toastmasters and guests, just keep thinking what you would have done if you had a time machine. I will be right back with my time machine with you, which will take you to choice of your time. But now, let me take you through the format of today's meeting. Our meeting is divided into three sections. First section is the prepared speech section. 
Second section is the table topic section. And the third section is the general evaluation section. Now, let me introduce you to the general evaluator of the meeting who has already started and will be evaluating each one of us. We must always be evaluated to grow in Toastmasters. And why and how we are getting evaluated? Let us know from our general evaluator. So, our general evaluator for today is DTM Saurav Datta, the VPPR of Gabby's Toastmasters Club and the Gabby's Online Toastmasters Club. He's a distinguished Toastmasters and has achieved two DTM awards, double DTM, triple, uh, three triple crown and completed eight parts. Let me hand over the mic to Toastmaster DTM Saurav Datta. Over to you, DTM Saurav Datta. <coughs> Okay, before I get started with the general evaluation section, you would have seen already that, uh, you know, Dina has uh, mentioned in the in the chat that it's her birthday. So can we have a birthday song for Dina and do a small birthday celebration before we start with the general evaluation section? Is that okay with everyone? Yes, absolutely. That? Okay. Yes. I have a song ready for you, Dina. Uh, Chaitanya, please spotlight Dina. So... We are going to be playing this. Dina, are you ready? <laughs> yes. Can everyone unmute? Birthday, Dina. Happy birthday, Happy birthday, Happy birthday, Happy birthday, Dina. Happy birthday, Dina. Dina. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> Dina, we are going to continue with the rest of the meeting now. Thank you so much. And uh, as the general evaluator for today, uh, my job is to evaluate the entire meeting right from what happened before the meeting, during the meeting, and also towards the end of the meeting. In fact, since I'm also the member of the club, I do continue my evaluations even post the meeting. That's not good news, right? But yeah, it happens. So uh, for doing this role, I have a very special team with me, a team which uh, consists of a timer, a counter, grammarian, and a listener. So for um, the timer role in my team, I have Toastmaster Chaitanya, who is also a sergeant at arms. And Toastmaster Chaitanya picked up this role because the sergeant at arms doesn't get introduced. So here you go, Toastmaster Chaitanya. Toastmaster Chaitanya is a software engineer working in Bangalore. His interests include music, cooking, sports, trekking, traveling, doing adventure sports, such as rafting, paragliding, etc. And the list goes on. He is keen towards learning new things and be able to do something that has an impact. Over to you, Toastmaster Chaitanya, to walk us through the role and also uh, explain us how will you be showing the timer cards. Thank you, General Evaluator. Hello, everyone. I will be your timer for the day and timing our speeches is really, really important. As it is, uh, So I'll show you how I will be changing my background to notify you about the timing of your speeches. For prepared speeches, the speeches of length five to seven minutes, I will be showing green card on at five minutes, yellow card at six minutes and red card at seven minutes. For evaluation, uh, it will be of two to three minutes in which I will be showing a green card at two minutes, yellow card at two minutes, 30 seconds and red card at three minutes. And for table topics, it will be of one to two minutes for which I will be showing green card at one minute, yellow card at one minute, 30 seconds and red card at two minutes. 
every speaker will get a grace period of 30 seconds with that i would like to hand hand over back to general evaluator thank you so much toastmaster chaitanya and no i was just kidding when i said that he took up the timer role because he wanted to be introduced and he did not get introduced as they say he took up the timer role because we had someone who uh, we had as a timer before but that person couldn't make it unfortunately and he stepped up and that's what we do at the gabbies the leadership team at the gabbies is always there to step up and support the members as and when it required even if it's a last minute role Thank you so much, Toastmaster Chaitanya. One second. Moving on, the second member of my tag team, Tagal team, is and someone I want on the camera. Can you please come on the camera, Prabha? Great. So, Toastmaster Prabha is one of our newest members, and she's taking up the role of the R counter today. Toastmaster Prabha is a fun-loving, ambitious, and a sporty person. Alongside her profession as a product manager, she finds delight in exploring new places and immersing herself in different culture through travel to the right person to join a meeting themed as time travel. Over to you, Toastmaster Prabha, to explain your role, please. Thank you, General Evaluator. Uh, good morning, fellow Toastmasters and uh, dear guests. The purpose of our counter is to note words and songs that are used as crutch or pause filler by anyone who speaks. During this meeting, I will listen for overused words such as and, well, but, so, like, and, you know. I will also listen for filler sounds such as uh, um, and or. Uh. Apart from filler sounds and words, I will also note when a speaker repeats a word or a phrase such as I, I, this means, this means, etc. And at the end of this meeting, I will record the number of times that each speaker use these expressions. Thank you. Over to you, General Evaluator. Thank you, Toastmaster Prabha. And thank you for taking up this role. The next person on the tag team, and this is going to be scary, guys. Please pay attention. The next person on the tag team is someone who has been a pro, has been a principal for 30 years. Toastmaster Samita Kar as the grammarian is has 30 plus years of experience in the academia as a principal, and now she's a trainer. She's the mother of two wonderful children, and one of them, her son. Sovik introduced her to Toastmasters. And yes, she is another speech crafter who is now all set to become a Toastmaster. So here we are, a principal as the grammarian for today. Over to you, Toastmaster Samit. Thank you, General Evaluator. Uh, I am the grammarian today, so it's my responsibility to pay close attention to all the speakers and listen carefully to what you all are speaking. I will uh, note down any outstanding words, quotations, or saying, and of course, if there is any misuse, I will also be noting that down, and I will be letting you all know at the end of the day. As a grammarian, it's also my duty to introduce the word for the day. So today, the word is petricho. The pleasant smell that often accompanies the first rain after a long period of dry weather. So it can be used as uh, the petrito after the monsoon rain brought a sense of relief and rejuvenation to everyone. So, oh, thank you and over to you, General Valuta. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Samita. And what a wonderful meeting because we started with the petrito of a birthday far away in Canada. So, great, great start to the meeting. And now let me introduce the listener for today. She's a very special person and I'll tell you why. This is what I got as an introduction from her. I'm working in IT profession and I love cooking and drawing. And that may make you believe that she's, you know, someone who's just done that. No, but she's super impressive. Our listener for today has already advanced several levels in her path. And she has just joined Toastmasters. She's a very new Toastmaster and yet she's doing wonders, doing speeches outside of the Gabby's, completing her levels, her paths. And that's something that we really recommend for you, uh, Toastmaster Triveni Gali, our listener for today. Over to you, Triveni. Thank you so much, DTM Sarodatta. Good morning, Toastmasters and my dear guests. I am the listener for today's meeting. As a listener, I will pay close attention to the speakers and ask the questions at the end of the meeting. Who would answer most of the questions will be the best listener for today's meeting. I will be back with my questions when called by General Evaluator. Thank you. Over to you, General Evaluator. Thank you so much. So that is my Taggle team for today. 
and they will be ensuring one you don't get lost in time two you have an awesome experience and not an awful experience three you are doing seductive usages of english language and not sinful usages and four you are not falling asleep behind that black tile thank you so much over to you toastmaster of the day thank you toastmaster of, uh, thank you dtm sarodatta for introducing your tagel team now now let us move on to our first segment and that is our prepared speeches wherein we have three prominent speakers with their immense will to share their experiences and ideas so before calling our first speaker let me call upon the evaluator of first speaker the evaluator of first speaker is toastmaster neha jain the president of gabby's online toastmasters club she is a finance uh, professional working with cardinal health information india a yoga practitioner and a trainer love traveling trekking and she loves playing badminton so toastmaster neha please take us through the evaluation guidelines of your target speaker and let the timer know the speech length of your target speaker over to you toastmaster neha thank you toastmaster of the day toastmaster karthik venugopal now coming to the project objectives of my target speaker she just simply has to introduce herself to the gabby's audience it's as simple as that and the speech duration is 4 to 6 minutes all the very best to my target speaker back to you thank you toastmaster neha jain Now it's time to call upon our first speaker, Toastmaster Abigail Vergis. So Toastmaster Abigail Vergis is a dedicated educator and researcher. is an alumni of Saint Joe's uh, Saint Stephen's College. She has a specialization in modern history. I also love history. <laughs> Currently, she is working as assistant content manager at LXL Ideas. She is a mom, a foodie, an ardent reader, a movie buff, an abstract artist. a huge introvert so let me call upon our first speaker toastmaster abigail vergis search for self search for self toastmaster abigail vergis thanks karthik so uh, my topic is uh, search for self we don't need no education We don't need no thought control. Dark sarcasm in the classroom. Hey, teacher, leave the kids alone. I'm sure you heard the song. Amma, amma, abhi mere dolphin amma. Her elder brother John came running to amma. This is so beautiful, Abby. Oh, how she loved painting. She loved science. She loved to read. She loved art the most. Yes, Krishna Murthy School was a heaven for her. She could make mud pots, explore nature, run freely. She didn't have to learn. Putting in effort. She learned what she loved and loved what she learned. But this happiness didn't last for long. She had to change schools. Hindi nahi aata kya? Mom, I I don't know Hindi. I know Tamil. Thud. The thud was the sound of her spirit break. She went mute. Stop talking. She stopped making friends. She stopped drawing. She she was pulled. She pulled herself into a shell. Because the mainstream schooling, the rote learning. was breaking her from within the saga continued and one fine day at 16 she gave up she couldn't stop crying she declared that she hated school she struggled through school and took a brief break she got back she topped her class she got to st stephens however she remained in her comfort zone she was missing to find the purpose she was looking for until an opportunity came where she went to rajasthan she became a gandhi fellow when she actually saw pain she realized the worth of her life she was grateful of what she had she dedicated the two years of her life to help those children 
with the with while the extreme condition extreme climatic conditions and the sufferings pulled her down one child inspired her to keep going chavi a little girl who lost her parents in a dreaded event the child's father died in a brain tumor and her mom continued committed suicide in the community well you know what chavi whispered in ambi's ears i want to be an ips officer kisi se mat bolna didi the fire in her changed abhi's outlook towards life for this one girl she promised herself that day my life would be about emancipating children i not break i not let any child break like school broke me she worked for 3 years in the design team in delhi and that is when she met dev the charming unassuming person she instantly fell in love with mm, marriage not many rituals or customs indeed it was a court wedding the world before marriage and after marriage were two different worlds there were cultural differences leave the differences in faith the food of that matter to her most due to constant conflict between the father and son abhi had to leave many times in between all the chaos in our life one fine day the most delightful news arrived where she was she knew that she was becoming parent they was overjoyed she sweetened up the moment with his favorite cupcakes due to the complications in her pregnancy she had to go back to her hometown in kerala they visited often during one such visit at about 6 am abhi called dev i think my water broke they were half asleep go back to sleep abhi it's nothing i'm serious take me to the hospital now the maternity bag was bad the drama began the labor pain it was excruciating after eight hours of nudging pushing shouting swearing came out an angel whose cries were as sweet as nectar and face like the full moon and touch that was had a healing power abhi forgot all her pain one year into motherhood she learned a lot conquered her fears she was ready to take on her prelims exam fortunately or unfortunately she was short of four marks she didn't qualify though she was heartbroken she didn't lose hope she decided to try the next year time flew her little angel was now 18 months and life took a u turn this time she had to leave her baby behind in her hometown and move in with her husband to support his career decisions and she did it with all her might by now she knew what it meant to prioritize and how to make the best lemonades the, that life i'm oh sorry the best lemonades with the lemons that life threw on her she emerged a winner she got an offer from a ad company that made movies for children children yes chavi her little friend from rajasthan who inspired her she found the solutions to the unrest in her mind she found her ikigai from in her new work she now got closer to her dream her dream to become something for kids thank you thank you toastmaster abigail verges give a big round of applause to toastmaster abigail verges for Deliver, delivering her icebreaker speech and i would like to request everyone to give a standing ovation to toastmaster abigail as a custom of toastmasters to give for icebreaker speeches thank you toastmaster abigail for introducing yourself to the club you have taken the first step which is now inspiring to many others to take their first step So now let us move on to the next speaker. But before calling upon the next speaker, let me call upon the evaluator two, that is Toastmaster Ayush Goel. He is from Jaipur, currently living in Hyderabad. He works as a business analyst in a startup. His hobbies include reading, writing, watching movies, dancing, and exploring new places. Toastmaster Ayush, please take us through the evaluation guidelines of your target speaker, and please let the timer know the speech length of your target speaker. What are you, Toastmaster Ayush Goel? Thank you, Toastmaster Karthik. My target speaker is Toastmaster Devashish. The path 
his part is presentation mastery level 1 and project 2 and the project name is writing speech with a purpose in this speech in this project the the speaker will learn or review and review a basic methods for writing a speech with a defined purpose and and present a well organized speech on any topic timer please note that the timing for the speech is 5 to 7 minutes the speech name is this too shall pass fear all the best toastmaster devashish over to you tmod thank you toastmaster ayush now let me call upon our speaker to toastmaster devashish parma he is an alumni of bhavani uh, bhavanapur bhavanipur college calcutta professionally a chartered accountant by profession and is currently working at ay he loves Beng bengali food which is deeply rooted in his upbringing during his free time he cooks up a storm in the kitchen and experiments with different recipes and flavors so toastmaster devashish parmar this to shall pass this to shall pass toastmaster devashish parmar thank you tmod kartik fear everybody in his life would have faced fear i'm not going to ask to anyone here what is your fear rather i'm going to discuss about my stories how i had overcome i hope my story help you to overcome your fear in some point of time in the life i have faced multiple fears in the in different facets of my life some fear helped me to overcome my difficulties while some fear overshadows my brightness as a 4 year old kid i was caught free free from any sort of fear because i had my mother to shield me from any sort of trouble be it from my father or any stranger one awful day from the distance of 20 meters i watched in horror as my mother's life was consumed in fire numbness enveloped me i did not understand what i just saw my dreams became haunted by vision that my mother is transforming into a ghostly figure reaching out to, reaching out for me before i could overcome this trauma within few weeks my sister fell into a hot water and the last time i saw her she was in the hospital but she had a smiling face during this phase of my life i found solace in my beloved nani she was my wisdom source of wisdom and a listening ears by sharing beautiful stories about my mother and sister she created beautiful memories about them later in my life i understood that it is once memories that we create help us to keep them alive in our hearts right my second story is about when i went to a boarding school in the depth of childhood i suffered from unspeakable abuse within the confines of the hospital hostel fear shame and isolation captivated me prevented me from he seeking help and and also expressing but i had to protect myself i called my local guardian to the hostel to show that there is someone to protect me and that helped and within that same hostel i carved out the carved out the moments of genuine happiness proving that resolution resilience can blossom even in unforgiving circumstances my third incident in the life which i want to discuss one time my english teacher asked me hey devashish why don't you give a why don't you participate in a english poem competition in inter school english poem competition i said fine ma'am i'll give it a try the moment i was about to give a trial and i was about to speak in front of mike i froze i froze with fear and numbness i did not know what to speak and that fear remained all over my life and it became stronger 
it even impacted my professional life and personal life i joined toastmasters multiple times in order to overcome my fear but i felt intimidated and i failed with the mindset that i have to be perfect and i have to make impression no but now i feel that i have found a home in gabby's where i can grow and overcome my fear of public speaking so the three so to summarize from the three stories which i have just told first create a beautiful memories of your loved one loved one before before they, they they are no more the person who fears the person who is abuser is more fearful than you so don't fall in the trap of guilt shame and third let go perfectionism in order to overcome your fear of public speaking you know why i am sharing you this personal stories because fear is a natural phenomena you cannot overcome it you need to feel it you need to be there face it the purpose the, the more if you fear cultivate fear it will get stronger but if you have faith it will create wonders fear we as a human being can overcome any situation our life our career as a human being is to stand in a fulcrum between fear and faith with the fear on your back and faith in your front you decide which way you want to lead there are few tools which can help you to overcome your fear the first one is breathing breathe think about the situation and negotiate i would like everyone to try this later in 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 their free time to think about what fear they have in their life and if it is not worth keeping holding to it, to yourself throw it out and flush it out from your life thank you very much thank you toastmaster devashish please give a big round of applause to toastmaster devashish and yes we all fear on something or other thing but it's okay we should have faith to overcome that fear and one day this too shall pass away so let's move on to our next speaker so before calling upon our next speaker let me call upon the evaluator 3 of speaker 3 and our evaluator 3 is dtm nagesh ramamurthy the division b director of district 92 the president of the gabbies toastmasters club he is a teacher trainer and coach in domain of construction he has trained over 7000 plus professionals in the last decade with his coaching he has impacted over 500 plus professional lives in addition with his experience of over 3 decades is a consultant who checks the health of occupied buildings so dtm nagesh ramamurthy please take us through the evaluation guidelines of your target speaker and please let the timer know the speech length of your target speaker over to you thank you to us master today the third speaker is going to talk about a project from the communication style the project is understanding your communication style the purpose of this project is for the member to learn different styles of communication and identify what is her primary style having done that the purpose of the speech that is going to be presented today is for her to demonstrate and share the impact of her style on others the speech length would be 5 to 7 minutes i wish her all the best thank you dtm nagesh ramamurthy so now let us call upon our third speaker toastmaster mega jetwani so she is an image consultant and a soft skills trainer and working as a director of the hospital in the city a fitness enthusiast loves traveling and exploring new places toastmaster mega jetwani communication style communication style toastmaster mega jetwani oh 
ఓటు ఓటు యూ మీగా today i stand before you to discuss a very crucial aspect of communication its various styles we know that communication lies in the heart of every relationship whether personal or professional it serves as a bridge that connects individuals and enables us to exchange our ideas views information and emotions but a one fit all approach does not is no longer effective in this diverse and rapidly changing world so we have categorized communication styles into four different categories there are basically four different types of communication styles so there are four types of communicators first is the direct direct are the ambitious focused result oriented and strong willed people more demanding second is the initiating they are, they are the truly sociable enthusiastic fun loving ongoing innovative people but yet self assured and persuasive people third is the analytical ones they are the logical ones precise exact and who need complete knowledge and complete information about the matter they are true perfectionists and self reliant people and lastly and the fourth one are the supportive uh, style of communication they are steady calm composed approachable introvert dependable loyal helpful always lending a helpful hand so which of this is my type of communication it's supportive for i have always felt that my calm and composed demeanor me being an extremely approachable as a person all this is very conducive to this kind of communication style that is supportive i have uplifted inspired and guided people with empathy and this is what they tell about me in my presence and in my absence i believe that i have the ability to value support and understand others so i strongly believe that i have a supportive communication style and this is what the toastmasters who is also confirmed for me as well a recent e- life event that strikes this chord is that when uh, i recently saw my son discouraged and disheartened frustrated starting to uh, withdraw himself from family and school sensing his distress i took the time to sit down with him and listen attentively to all his concerns soon i discovered that he was struggling with bullying at school i offered him a secured space to uh, to express himself completely and assured him that i am always with him together we both approached the school uh, administration leading to effective intervention and restoration of my son's confidence another time when tensions rose when we fa- when my family faced a financial setback when my husband was charged in an mlc case barred him to practice as authority seized his medical license worried about the future anxiety began to take its toll in the family's dynamics i initiated family discussions and encouraged each and every family member to share their concerns and their brainstorming solutions with open with by fostering open communication and involving each and every family member i help find creative ways to cut down expenses explore new opportunities and bind each and every one emotionally during this uh, difficult time the family not only weathered the storm but emerged even more stronger than before as they had realized the power of unified support but in true sense i would say that while overcoming every challenge supportive style of communication may not be helpful so we have to become adaptable communicators this means that we should tailor and adjust our messages style tone and approach to foster understanding succeed uh, build relationship and meet the ever changing needs of people around us concluding i would say that adaptability in communication style is a skill that we need to cultivate to conquer and win the dynamic world 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster Mega, for letting us know the importance of different communication styles. And yes, as a to be a great effective communicator, we should adapt to all the communication styles. Now, it's time to sail through time. So how many of you are ready to sail through time? And I have a time machine today. So how many of you are ready to sail with me? Past or future? It's up to you, whatever you choose. Okay, who is the first one to go? Okay. Can you please raise your hand? Okay. Toastmaster Samita, you are the first one. Okay. So here is the question to you is, I have a time machine and I will take you to the place wherever you wish for, past or future. But you should make us understand why you chose that time. And what is that you wanted to change or what is that you wanted to do? Is it in past or future? What are you? So over to you. I would definitely like to go in the future. Past, it has already been done. I know what it is. I have read it in the books. So actually, I'm not interested. Future, and that's interesting. That is where I want to go. Where do I want to go? I want to travel and see. In Antarctica, there is a thriving forest. And I am one of those who is making that change possible. Playing with those giant penguins there and making sure that they are not being slaughtered. Looking at those icebergs and making ships out of it and roaming around the whole of the island, making it green as it's once supposed to be. Why do I want to do it? Because I know from there, there's that huge ozone layer that is getting depleted. And I don't want that to happen. I want my earth to remain as green and as beautiful as possible. And that will be the only way. So my dream is to travel to the future where I can really make a difference. I want to see my Antarctica being green again. Over to you, Toastmaster Karthi. Thank you, Toastmaster Samita. And your wish actually has come true just now because you just traveled to Thrive and you just told us what all you wanted to do. So it's now done. Now let's move on to Diana. Okay, Diana. So you can type in chat saying where you want to go and what you want to do. Is it okay, Diana? Fine. I'll read out uh, at the end. Okay, fine. So I see Chaitanya was raising his hand. So Chaitanya, are you ready to go back in time or future? Uh, yes, I'll go back in time, definitely. Okay, go back in time. So I do have a time machine with me today. Mm -hmm. And the time machine name is somewhat weird. Because, okay, I'll tell you what is the time name, uh, time machine name. The time machine name is Gili Gili Gulu Gulu. Because I bought this time machine from an imaginary scientist called Christopher Gulu Gulu from Maleshwaram. So are you ready? Oh, yes. To travel in Gili Gili, Gili Gulu Gulu. <laughs> Very much ready. Okay. So tell me, first tell me, which is the year you wanted to go back in time? Actually, there are multiple years, which I don't know. Since... No, no. <laughs> okay, you choose one time. Because I have to enter the time in time machine. Oh, is it? Yeah. So, uh... Time it for when Julius Caesar was killed. Okay, so that is around like, uh, I remember uh, BC, uh, maybe like 500 BC. So, okay, yeah. I'm typing the type, 10, 10, 10, 500 BC ready. So time machine is ready. So All before right. starting the time machine, he has to say, uh, start Gili Gili Gulu Gulu. Will you tell? <laughs> Should I tell? <laughs> yeah, yeah, because that's how you start the time machine. That's how You're I the got pilot to know from, you can tell. Yeah, that's how I got to know from Christopher Gulu Gulu that you have to say that. Okay. okay. So you'll make me no, say you that anyway. Because you are the person who is traveling back in time. Start do that. Okay. What did I have to say? Uh, gili gili gulu gulu start. <laughs> gili gili gulu gulu start. Okay. Now, ten, 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 ten. You are in the past. Now, okay. just tell me what you wanted to do in the past in okay. Julius Caesar. We know who assassinated Julius Caesar. So what I'll do is, since we know it's very important to have gold and money and investments in our time right now, and we are all kinds of poor people. So I'll go inform him and tell him that your friend is going to betray you. He's going to assassinate you and you spy on him. And once he finds that out, he'll award me with some gold, some gold, it will be a lot of gold. 
I'll get that gold back because it is right now too expensive, <laughs> around sixty thousand. So I'll just invest it and then become a billionaire, leave my job, go to Himachal Pradesh, stay there in a hut. <laughs> okay, okay. And you know who betrayed Julius Caesar? Uh, Ed to Brut, Brutus. Brutus. Yes. <laughs> okay. Fine. So I see uh, the president of online Toastmaster Gab is online Toastmasters Club uh, Toastmaster Neha. I Are have a question for you, Karthik. Yeah. How do you get these weird names? Gulu Gulu Gili Gili. What is it? Uh, I want to go back in time and figure this out. <laughs> Where do you come come up with such terms from? Yeah, yeah. That that is a kind of secret. I'll share you after the meeting. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Fine. So Toastmaster Neha, do you want to go back in time or future? I want to go back in time and also in future. Okay. I'm, I'm greedy the, like that. Okay, first tell me uh, the year which you want to go back in past. Um, so I want to go back to 1947. 1947. Okay. Okay, I'll enter the time. 1947 entered. So now start saying uh, you, you should know what to, how to start the time machine. How to start the time machine? What yeah, I just said you. You should uh, you should say gili gili gulu gulu start. Okay, so gili gili gulu gulu start. Okay, ten, ten, ten. Yes, now we are into back in 1947. So tell me what you wanted to do there. So I would like to figure out uh, how this, the whole independence thing happened, the real story behind it, because there are a lot of stories around it, some for it, some against it. So I'd actually meet uh, Mahatma Gandhi in person and, you know, talk to him, have one-on-one -on -one conversation with him and then give him a table topic and make him speak the truth and find out what if what we are reading is even real or not so that's one thing that i want to do okay and yeah future where you want to go future yeah you told you wanted to go in future also right yeah so i just want to go to the future and find out if there is a possibility of uh you know going to the other planets like earth is still explorable right we can reach anywhere that we want to okay. so it's become very normalish so I want to go to other planets and figure out, you know, if, if there is a possibility of living there and something like okay. that. Yeah. Okay, fine. I, ho I hope uh, you have your wish comes true, but don't go to Pluto because Pluto has been uh, explored no the list yeah. of planets. Sure. Okay. Now I see Tarun, uh, Tos, uh, Tarun Agarwal. So could you please come on camera and let us know where you want to travel? Hi. Hi, Hi Dr. Yeah, so please let us know where you want to travel and why and what is that thing you wanted to do go, going in back in time or going in future? I would like to go in future. Okay, so I'll enter the uh, year. Can you please tell me? Uh, year 2035. Okay, 2035 entered. Yes, now we are into 2035. Please tell what, what you wanted to do in 2035. Okay, so now in 2035, I would like to first see how my stock markets are, <laughs> are happening. And accordingly, I can take a position today uh, and I know which stocks and which mutual funds are performing well. So I can take a 10 year horizon or 12 year horizon from today itself. Uh, the second thing I would like to definitely like to do is to see how, how the nature is evolving. And I would like to spy on that and would like to make a video so that when I come back, I put on a YouTube and say to everyone that if you don't take care of your nature, this is how you are going to see the actual world. Uh, so, you know, just leveraging the YouTube technology uh, for the better rather than just, uh, 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 you know, just randomly uh, becoming a famous. And the third part, I would like to definitely see how the kids are performing in, in after 12 years. So if really wants to change something to our youth or to kids in the habit, uh, we can do that. So these are the three wishes which I would like to do after 12 years. Thank you, thank, thank you. you, Tarun, for letting us know your future plans. I hope, uh, and, and I hope not hope, you just travel through time. Thank you. Thank okay, you. now, uh, Diana, I don't uh, see your, uh, uh, where you want to go. I mean, in past time, you have, you have not written anything. Could you please write? Okay, I'll, I'll be waiting for you. So is there anyone else who wants to travel back in time or in future? Before moving on to our next segment. You okay. tell us where you want to travel. Okay, I already told in my first uh, theme, I wanted to meet Alexander the Great, Aristotle, then 
Toastmaster Ralph C. Smedley. So I already told. Now let us move on to our second segment that is table topics. So to run the table topic session, I call upon our Toastmaster Jyoti Mandal. So Jyoti Mandal is working in Course 5 Intelligence Analytics company having six years of experience. By passion, she is a health coach and a nutrition advisor, helping people in weight management and lifestyle issues reversals. So over to you, Toastmaster Jyoti Mandal. Thank you so much, so much, so much, so much, so much. Did we just time travel? Yes. <laughs> Okay, over to you, Toastmaster Jyoti. I logged in uh, from two devices. Thank you so much, uh, Toastmaster Venugopal, Karthik Venugopal. Um, so, good morning, everyone. Why can't I hear? Can you hear me? We can hear you. Yes, we can hear you. Thank you. So table topics enables a member to develop the skills of impromptu speaking. It helps members to quickly organize and express their thoughts. It helps you in presentations and when you speak to strangers. So table topics, uh, when you speak, uh, you, you will get one to two minutes. And I request everyone to use word of the day in your speeches. It's like a mini speech. You can... Uh, form like a body, uh, opening body and conclusion. So today I have interesting uh, topics. And um, so as we traveled in time in uh, present and we will travel in time in future and we know that AI is the um, uh, new technology which is being integrated in almost uh, all the products like Alexa, Siri, we all know that, right? So I will show you a product where you have to talk about if AI is, AI is integrated in that, how will it look like? So I would uh, choose one speaker. Tarun. Tarun, could you please unmute yourself? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So here is the product. Can you see the product? Okay, yeah. yeah. So you have to talk about, uh, feel that this is you and AI is integrated in this and how will you sell this product to your customers? Okay. Okay, sure. Hi. Uh, so we are we are sitting in an arena where uh, looks and and smartness matters a lot, and I'm sure you have a lot of products to evaluate that. But have you seen a product which not only reflects what you are, but can only reflect what you can become? If not, hey, I am there for you. So I am not like a usual mirror, which will just show how you are looking like. Based on your mood, my artificial intelligence will definitely show what's, what's wrong with you and how you can improve. So like, I know that, uh, you know, you are, right now you have a long hair, but based on my artificial intelligence, I feel that you should go for a shorter hair. So if you come into, if you come into front of me, uh, we will, I will show you that you already have a shorter hair rather than having a long hair. If you really want to be, know, understand more about myself, I would like, I would like that you should try me and uh, uh, as, uh, happy, to, happy to serve you. Uh, yeah, thank, thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank That's you. a good try. I may not buy your product because I love my long hair. I may, and I cannot see myself with a short hair. <laughs> Thank you. But that's a good uh, speech. So who's next? I see raise of hands. Uh, Mamta. Mamta, uh, here is a product. It's a bottle. Think that you are this bottle and AI is integrated in this. How you will sell this product to 
your customers. Okay, thank you, Toastmaster Jyoti, for the topic. Uh, dear customer, I'm a bottle. In the earlier days, people used to call me a bottle, but now you can call me whatever you want. I'm used to keep water, I'm used to keep milk, but you can keep whatever you want. Uh, I'm used while uh, traveling. Uh, in the earlier days, there were a lot of problems carrying the water. Now you can carry me where, wherever you want. And apart from just uh, having the water inside me, I can give you the temperature of the water. And along with the temperature, I can tell you where you need to drink water. And uh, like if you are uh, dehydrating while traveling or while doing this sport, I'll, I'll, there is a sensor inside me. That sensor will recognize that you are uh, thirsty and you need to drink the water. So I'll give you a signal. I'll give you an alarm directly from the uh, bottle uh, so that you can uh, sense that and have, have the water. Yeah. Thank you. That's great, uh, Mamta. Definitely, I'll buy that bottle because uh, sometimes I forget to drink water in, uh, in my busy schedule. And uh, if AI is integrated in that bottle, if it reminds me to drink water for every one, two hours, that's great product. Thank you. Uh, next, I would like to call Saurav Datta. So Saurav, here is the product for you. Sari, <laughs> think, that, think that AI is integrated in this Sari and you are this Sari. How will you sell this? <laughs> Adding, um, attending the Gabby's meetings is stressful. How many of you agree to that? Okay, Abigail agrees to it. And, and your reason probably is that you have to make your speeches, you have to do your roles, and there's a host of officers sitting here and watching you. How are you doing? Right after this meeting, you are going to get a, um, get a call from your mentor or one of the officers saying, that, hey, this was a great speech, but you know what? And this is what you will expect, right? But I'm not talking about all of them. I'm talking about Gabby's meeting being stressful for the one simple reason that we have got a dress code. Which Toastmaster Club on Earth has a dress code that too for an online meeting? And every Saturday morning, more than looking at whether we have a Zoom background and what's the theme of the meeting, people run to understand what's the dress code. Now imagine a dress code being wear a sari. I'm sure 99% of the, of the girls here will definitely decide that, okay, fine, I want to not be on camera. And they'll say, I'm sorry, Demod, my bandwidth is not permitting me to be on the video today. We will. To this sari, provide a solution to that problem. What you need to do is you just need to put it on your shoulder and just do it. and immediately you'll come draped in a sari beautifully and you'll be all flashing on the camera. Forget about coming on camera. You will actually be standing and delivering your speeches. You'll be actually standing and delivering your icebreaker speech and your table topic speech and your evaluation speech. And even when you are not speaking. And that is how the meetings are going to evolve. So if, even after this, you're not ready to buy my product. Only thing I can tell you is that you are not thinking straight. You are not using human intelligence. And because you're not using any human intelligence, hence the need for you to have a sari with an artificial intelligence. And from then onwards, in the Gabby's meeting, the only thing you need to worry about is your speech and your evaluation, not about the dress code. You can comfortably be on camera. Stand in front of the camera and boldly deliver your speech. Thank you. Back to you, Toastman. That's great. Uh, uh, so if uh, the dress code is sari in, uh, in any one of the future meetings, definitely we can just put the sari like this. We don't have to drape it. <laughs> Girls, that's a good idea. Okay. Thank you, Saurabh. Uh, DTM Saurabh. Uh, next. Who would like to go next? Volunteer? I see Melvia Bisauza. Okay, here is the product for you. That's it. Oh, okay. Um, so, um, well, thank, thank, thank you for the topic, God was Master Jyoti. So, when AI had just come into the news with ChatGPT raging all of it, I was really scared because I had just switched my job. 
and I was still learning new things and I'm like I just got a hold of this and now you're telling me that maybe in a few years I would be replaced uh, so I was really scared and I went around doing research and I realized how uh, even like every 10 years we've been having evolutions that have been reducing our work I do realize that we, we do work which is unnecessary at this point sometimes and that can easily be automated so AI can actually be a tool for us that can make our lives easier rather than you know uh, <laughs> take away our jobs so uh, with that I have like a positive outlook to AI now and when it comes to headphones well that's something that I use very often and uh, maybe uh, we could have like with headphones we would have a solution such that we wear it and um, it will guide us so uh, this usually happens that my mom is calling me and I have no clue that she's doing that so this AI would be smart enough on the AI uh, embedded into the headphones which would tell me that which would lower the volume by itself and tell me that somebody's calling me or um, even when I'm walking on the street, if there is a vehicle close by, it could tell me that you're in your there's a possible accident, so please move to the left or something like that. To take care of me and also look out for me. So that could be a good solution with headphones. Definitely, I will buy that product because <laughs> uh, when I plug in my headset and if somebody is calling me, I cannot hear. And it's a good one that uh, uh, AI is telling me that someone is calling you. Good one. Thank you, Melvia. Thank you. Uh, our next volunteer. Let me pick up. Any guests here would like to go? Uh, Diana, I'll give you a topic. Uh, Abigail is busy. Yeah, give her a topic and, and she can put it on chat. Yeah. We also have two guests from Sri Lanka, Gihan and uh, Sudharma, I think. Can you, uh, can anyone, one of them please speak? We have not had Sri Lankans doing the topics of the Gabbies yet. Uh, can you repeat the name, uh, DTM Sauron? Postmaster Gihan Vikram Singhe and... Uh, Vikram, can you unmute yourself? Yeah, Postmaster Gihan Vikram Singhe and Postmaster Sudharma Pereira. They are from Sri Lanka. Here is the ring light. Think that AI is integrated in this, and why will uh, how you will sell this product to your customers? Okay, good morning, all Toastmasters. It is a very pleasure to be with you in this meeting. So, this uh, what was the name of that? A circular light, no? Sorry, ring light. Ring light. Okay, okay, okay. So, or you can say I, I am the ring light, right? Okay. Then you have been seen so many uh, types of lights in the day-to-day -day life, but this is a different type with including AI. When you are in the uh, room or inside the home, when there is a darkness, you don't feel that. So I can adjust the lightness as you wish. So if you are if you are reading a book that illumination should be comfortable for your eye. You don't care about it. Even darkness, you, if, if you are reading a book, with the darkness also, you are trying to read that book, but it is not good for your eye. So I can adjust the lightness, the illumination, whatever good for your eye, for improvement of your health of your eye. So that is the main advanced advantage of this product so if you buy this you can improve your health of your eye as well you can comfort your life by enjoying lightness in the in inside any room or home over to toastmaster thank you that's awesome i'll definitely buy the product because it has great features thank you vikram uh, so uh, next, I would like to call Nagesh, sir. <laughs> yeah, can you unmute yourself? There, there was another person from Sri Lanka. Okay. Can we the, give the topic to Sudharma Pereira? Uh, sure. Uh, can you repeat the name? Sudharma. Sudharma. He has unmuted Hi, Sudharma. himself. Yeah. Here is 
oil bottle now uh, think that ai is integrated in this bottle and how you will sell this uh, we cannot hear you sudharma can you hear me now yes okay nowadays all of we, all people are following various types of oils you know in hair oils and for hair loss oil i heard the, earlier that my friend is using something called a cream to use uh, preventing hair loss if i am this oil bottle you can use multiple uses because it will in, uh, grow your hair it will protect your hair loss and also it will nourish your hair you don't want to do that uh, keratin treatment it is in sri lanka it is 12000 rupees you don't want to waste that time much of money you can just apply this oil and be comfortable you don't want to actually have a bath also you don't want to wash you can simply apply this oil whenever the time you you can that means when you are traveling also in in normal oils you have to use it before bathing and you have to apply it within 15 minutes you have to wash your hair in my case you don't want to waste your time for that just apply it even you can sleep you can travel and whenever the time over to you dos master you have wonderful skills uh, selling skills uh, sudharma so definitely i'll buy that oil because i can save lot of water i can save time thank you next uh, volunteer i see prabha yeah hi prabha so hi. here is a mango mm -hmm. think that ai is integrated and how you will sell this okay. and you are this mango Okay. So, um, hello, Toastmasters and dear guests. I have this mango, which is, uh, uh, which is, uh, which has AI integrated in it. And uh, as soon as you touch on, uh, as soon as you touch it, it will tell you the type of mango it is. Uh, so it has embedded a uh, speaker also, and uh, it will also sense the taste uh, preference of yours and will tell you like whether whether you like. you will like that uh, like this mango or not and it will uh, also uh, tell you so it has the speaking capabilities which will uh, first tell all the uh, description all the uh, all the details about this mango where it comes from and uh, what the type is and uh, um, and uh, the type of taste that you can expect from it and uh, how long it had been uh, uh, had been uh, put for uh, ripening and all these details it will tell and uh, yeah that's i will uh, that's that's how i am going to sell this mango to you that's great uh, prabha definitely i'll buy uh, tons of mango so that uh, even if uh, summer is over i don't have to worry because mango is my favorite fruit <laughs> thank you next volunteer can we invite shilpi she is a newest member if there is no volunteer shilpi tiwari yes sure yeah hi shilpi so the product is chair right now i'm sitting on the chair but i cannot lift that so yeah you can talk about that you feel that you are, you are the chair and ai is integrated in that and how you will sell that to your customer okay thank you toastmaster jyoti for this opportunity uh, am i audible so yeah i have this uh, wonderful chair uh why you want to uh, why i why uh, you people can uh, purchase this reason being is ai integrated and if anybody is having problem while uh, walking or knee problem something they can sit and through whatever uh if they want to go straight they want to go anywhere they can just push button and just they can go and if they if somebody is having long day work and just tired they can sit there and uh, whatever song they can listen they can press the button and they can listen the song 
so this is ai they they can listen the story also they can talk to uh, to this chair also because it's ai integrated you can uh, uh, use there is a one uh, uh, small uh, uh, flashy uh, kind of uh, kind of phone system is there you can use the social media you can see the movies also there so this is a different kind of chair not the regular one that we use daily so that's why it make it so different and in ai uh, there is an opportunity uh, in this chair you can you know uh, use in the in the ground also ground into my um, means you can go anywhere like in the road also and it will uh, drive you safely as same as the cars so that's why i believe you should uh, buy this uh, chair thank you thank you shilpi uh, i would definitely buy that chair because it has uh, many many features and uh, uh, it uh, quickly tells me how to say it right posture it corrects my posture so yeah that's great thank you so much uh, do we have time for other topic we can go for one more topic okay. last topic okay so i would like to call lagish sir because i have an interesting product here it's not actually a product but it's something which we earn um so here is this trophy lagish sir so think that ai is integrated in this and when we get trophies we just put it in shelf but how it's going to help us we can talk about it thank you table topic master i am absolutely not good at selling not even dreams i am good at till i joined toastmasters i did not know what i am good at the first time i joined ju uh, uh, a judging panel for a contest in toastmasters a week later a beautiful goodie came to me and i didn't have a place to keep that then another one then another one then another one i got lots of goodies because i was a voting judge in a particular contest 3 years ago in in type of a contest once one of the district officer also told me while i was not a district officer saying that i did vote i was a voting judge because i wanted to collect all these but here i am not knowing that i am doing collection i got so many collections then now i have a shelf where i kept i have kept all my collection and trophies that i have won in those masters now is artificial intelligence embedded in that no it's actually the real in in intelligence that is got you all that your intelligence your effort your time that you have spent in growing yourself up in developing yourself the time and effort that you have invested also the money that you have invested has got you what i have today i wouldn't say those masters that you need artificial intelligence to write your speeches i would say you need your real intelligence your real stories your real experiences that you will relive in your mind to come out here and bring it here as your speeches that intelligence will give you those trophy which our table topic masters showed us just now back to you team out DTM. Thank you, DTM Nagesh sir. Um, yeah, that's natural intelligence which we apply, and with our hard work, with our efforts, which we earn the trophy. Thank you. With this, uh, thank you to all the participants, and uh, over to you, uh, TMOD Karthik. Thank you, thank you, Toastmaster Jyoti, for those uh, lovely table topics. And yes, we learned a lot how to sell uh, different products with AI integration. and yes so now i will read out okay uh, diana just give me a second i'll read out your speech uh, so timer toastmaster chaitanya so yes, is every uh, speaker prepared speaker is within time could you please uh, let us know yes all the prepared speakers are within the given time frame and uh, and how about uh, table topic speakers uh, till now uh, all are within the time okay great 
uh, Zoom Master, could you please uh, launch the polls uh, for uh, prepared speakers and as well as table topic speakers? No speaker polls uh, today. Yeah. yeah. Nice Becker speech. Um, yes. We will launch for the table yeah. topic. Uh, yes, thank you. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Okay. So now let's move on to our theme, time traveling theme. So before passing on, before going to the third segment, I would like to let you all know that just now I got a call from uh, the imaginary scientist from Malaysia from Bangalore, Christopher Gulugulu, that our time machine has been updated to 2.0 and our time machine na na name now is Bazooka. So who is now ready to again go uh, back in time or uh, in future? Now, back, going back in time and future, we already have done it. Okay, so now let's uh, understand that with this Bazooka time machine, there was a person, a time traveler called Boom Boom Bhushan. He who just came from future and he has few questions. He has seen something and he wanted to tell you. Okay, now he want, he says that in 2035, world is going to end. I'm not sure whether it is true or not. But he says that because he's a time traveler. He himself tells his he's a time traveler. But today as we are in the time travel theme, so let us think that yes, he is right. So I want to know if the world is going to end in 2035, what would be your plans? Okay, I want volunteers. I see uh, Toastmaster uh, Jyoti uh, uh, ready to answer this. Yeah, Toastmaster Jyoti, please. If the world is going to end in 2035, as per the time traveler Boom Boom Bhushan, so what would be your plans? Uh, I'll th I think that uh, still 12 years are there and how should I utilize? Because whatever my dreams, my, uh, whatever, whatever I'm passionate about, definitely I'll try to do this in these uh, 12 years and I'll definitely do world tour because uh, I, I have that in my wish list and 12 years is good enough to travel the world. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for letting us know your wish. Okay. So I see. Uh, okay. Uh, Diana, I will read out your speech. Okay. So Diana says, my travel was world Disney for last past six years. The future will be going Las Vegas for pleasant. My future are next years of birthday. I want to go to the sip and dancer in Las Vegas. That future nightclub pleasant. I drink from lots of booze. Thank you. Thank you for letting us know your plans, Diana. So I see Melvia D'Souza raising her hand. Okay, Melvia D'Souza. So let us know. Okay, the time travel, as I already told, 2035, he told yes, yes, yes. that some rumor uh, world is going to end. So what would be your plans? Well, uh, the best part about it is that I'm not going to be very old when the world ends. So that means that I can utilize these 12 years to my fullest. So uh, this just means uh, that I, so I have this uh, wish that I want to go and uh, work with uh, the animals and all in Africa. So that is something that I'm definitely going to do. And I'm going to visit all of these places that I want to. And now I do not have any restrictions because I know the world is ending in 23, uh, sorry, 35. I need to go and do this. So I just want to explore the world. I want to see all the beautiful places before this world ends. And I think that would be a very fulfilling life for me. Thank you. Thank you, uh, thank Melvia, you. for letting us know your plans. But uh, to tell you, uh, this might be a rumor. So go right now and <laughs> make your dreams true. Don't thank wait you. for 2035. Okay. <laughs> so now I see uh, uh, Toastmaster Preeti Jain. I'll come to you, uh, Shilpi, uh, Toastmaster Shilpi, after Preeti Jain. Yeah, Preeti Jain. Uh, Toastmaster Preeti, yes, please let us know your plans. Attention, please. Just now, Toastmaster Karthik said, Boom Boom Bhushan has announced that the world will end. Definitely the world is going to end because it will be an end of patriarchal world because he has declared it and the beginning of a world ran by all women a powerful woman. And that is where a new era will begin. Be ready for that. We all powerful women here. So the one will end and it brings the new beginning. Are you ready, Toastmaster Karthik, for a new beginning in 2035? Yes, yes, Toastmaster Preeti. I am excited for the new beginning. Okay, Toastmaster Shilpi. Yeah, please let us know your plans. 
Yeah, thank you, Toastmaster Karthik. Uh, so, as you said, that uh, the scientist, I, I sorry, I forgot his name. That <laughs> boom Boom Bhushan. Oh, Boom Boom Bhushan has said 2035, uh, the world will going to end. So, uh, I wish I, I want to work with the Tesla company, with Elon Musk, to just want to know his brain, like at what level he thinks and what things he's going to, uh, you know, invent. I want to part of that. And before that might be if I contribute uh, to learn something, might be I'll in invent something. So yeah, this is my wish. Thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster Shilpi. So to all uh, Toastmasters and guests, to all let you know, sir, Boom Boom Bhushan was just from uh, 2023. Just, uh, I just got to know that he just lied to me. So let us not wait till 2035. Let us work towards our goals. Let us work towards our dreams and make it come true right from now. So now let us move on to our third segment and that is general evaluation section. And now let me call upon the general evaluator of the day, DTM Saurav Datta to pass on his general evaluation. Thank you so much, uh, Toastmaster Karthik. Uh, so like I normally do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with a quick evaluation of uh, the of some of the role takers and then I will move on to the speech evaluators and then I'll come back to the tag team. Uh, but before that, uh, I will take the confirmation of the timer before uh, upon the three evaluations are done. Okay, uh, so uh, let me get started with the meeting. The meeting started dot on time. Uh, great job again, uh, Sergeant at Arms. Every time you do that, I'm going to appreciate that because that's there's a first sign to the guests that we mean business, that this is a place where you are coming, where you, um, you know, you want to learn and you would want to learn under some kind of a discipline, right? And that is something that you're giving in the first impression. For you, it may be like it's a way of life, but remember the guest attending the meeting for the first time, that's the first interaction. If some guest joins at, say, 9.55 and the meeting starts at 10.05, it does not give a good impression. So great job with that, Toastmasters Chaitanya. You were checking with me if we should start the meeting. Never do that. Start the meeting irrespective of whoever is present or not present. Even if the presiding officer is not present, we will figure it out on the go. But we will not wait for anyone to join to start the meeting. Thank you so much. Can we have a big round of applause for our Sajan at Arms, not only for starting the meeting on time, but also the wonderful job that he does behind the scenes um, and uh, in terms of getting the introductions, in terms of sharing the introductions with everyone. The reason that you see that the Gabby's meeting works like a clockwork is because there's someone who's working at, around the clock to make the meetings work out so seamlessly. Great job there, Toastmaster Chaitanya, and the entire VP education team of both the clubs. Thank you. Moving on, the presiding officer, Toastmaster Nagesh Ramamurthy. Toastmaster Nagesh, I love um, the, the poise, the calmness that you bring into the room. Uh, that's so much more different like than what I bring in. And, uh, you know, I'm always about boom, boom, bushan types. And you are more about a cool, cool guy. So I think that's what we need, this combination of the hot and the cold in the gabbies. And you bring in that so, so, so beautifully into this meeting. Um, thank you so much. You... Um, and, and, and one other wonderful thing about your PO address is you always have a good story to share, a story that's touching, a story that's relevant, and a story from where we learn something. Thank you for bringing all your learnings, wisdom, and experience into the meeting as a presiding officer. Thank you. Can we have a big round of applause for this distinguished host, Master Nagesh Ramamurthy, please? Now comes the Gulu Gulu guy, right? Our Toastmaster of the day, Toastmaster Karthik Vedugopal. The Diggy Diggy Gulu Gulu. I don't know what and where you get those names from. Um, you Not only Neha, I think all of us want to know this. And uh, it's not easy, uh, one, to come up with these names. And what is difficult about humor and new style of humor is the slapstick humor. You know, when it comes to dark humor, I think um, I find it very comfortable. I, I find it really comfortable. You know, self-defecating humor or black humor, high pro humor. But the way you pull up uh, this uh, this entire thing about slapstick humor, it's so very impressive, Karthik. This is a skill that that very few people have, and you must hone this, strengthen this, grow this, because this can make you a great speaker. If you're doing a keynote session, for example, of thirty minutes or forty minutes, it is very natural for people to get bored. 
And that is when humor, those small doses of humor that you add, which keeps us engaged and involved in the meeting. So keep building on that strength because you have no idea how powerful a weapon you have in your arsenal. I mean it. Great job, Toastmaster Karthik. Um, one one uh, request for you would be that, uh, you know, be a little uh, mindful of the timing and the interactions because somewhere I feel that we were having a little bit of a drag. Uh, so keep those interactions in small pockets instead of having four, five, six interactions in one go. Because if you look at the audience, we have lost a few people. I would assume that they had other commitments that could also be a possibility. But, you know, the being cabbies, we would always take it on ourselves and say, could have we have made it more interesting that, you know, 30 people who joined the room is 30 people who stayed back, right? Or why is it 25 now? So that's something that we need to reflect on and see how we can make the sessions more engaging and more interesting that way. So thank you so much. And uh, can we have a big round of applause for our Toastmaster of the day, Toastmaster Karthik, for coming up with such a beautiful theme and executing it with such finesse. Thank you. Moving on, the speakers and the evaluators and time to invite the evaluators. So let me first invite the first evaluator of the first speaker, Toastmaster Neha Jain, the president of the Gabby's Online Toastmasters Club. Over to you, Toastmaster Neha Jain, for the evaluation, please. Thank you so much, DDM Saurabh a very pleasant morning to everyone gathered here and special greetings to my target speaker, Toastmaster Abigail. Can we spotlight her, please? Now, uh, Toastmaster Abigail, I've heard you speak a couple of times before. I've, I've heard your table topic speeches. And I remember your first table topic speech that went on for three and a half minutes. And you had my attention till the end of three minutes, 30 seconds. And why I bring that up today? It's simply because you had the same usage of the descriptive language that holds the attention of the audience till the very end of the speech. And I really love the way you curate your sentences and the descriptive language that you use. You have a very unique way of curating sentences that is extremely catchy and attractive. So kudos to you for that. You have a Right from, uh, I really admire the way uh, you timelined your whole speech, right? Right from your school days to your college days till the time you got married until the time you found your ikigai, which is extremely rare. To so beautifully captured timelines, I would say. You, you actually took us through each and every phase of your life, which is sort of the essence of a table topic, uh, of an icebreaker speech. And you brought that well today in your speech. Remarkably well. While I say all this good stuff, I'm sure you wouldn't go back home happy and satisfied with it. Why? Because we all are here to grow. We are all hungry to become better speakers, better individuals, and to groom ourselves. So here are my suggestions for you that you can implement in your upcoming speeches. Uh, so Abigail, here's something. We own our content, right? Nobody in this room even knows what my next sentence is going to be, do they? No. I own my content and I know what my next sentence is going to be. And when we say that content with a pinch of confidence, that makes all the difference. So own your content well with a pinch of confidence, which will make your speech uh, which will take your speech to the next level in the coming days. Uh, so one other uh, suggestion that I have for you is, it, it seemed in a couple of instances that you were reading through the lines. You had the lines in front of you. I mean, you were reading through the speech. While it's great to have bullet points, even I have bullet points right in front of me, what went well for Abigail, what didn't go well for Abigail, what could she improve? But reading through the lines is something that we all have to, uh, you know, work on, right? It's good to have bullet points. It's nothing wrong in it, but don't make it a habit to read through the lines because we are here to become speakers. Mm -hmm. And my uh, one, one other suggestion would be, uh, I would suggest you to remove the virtual background because while there is a virtual background, my hand gestures sort of hide. This hand does not even exist anymore, mm -hmm. right? So try removing the virtual, uh, virtual background, which will enhance your hand gestures and also your expressions. 
So all in all, a remarkable icebreaker speech. I love the way you took us through your journey. I love the descriptive language that you use. Keep using that in your upcoming speeches. Just three suggestions, a little more confidence, own your content and remove that virtual background. That will make a lot of difference in your upcoming speeches. All the very best. Back to you, General Evaluator. Thank you so much, Neha. I think one thing that Abigail will also agree with me is that the passion with which you deliver your evaluation, right? You are so interested and passionate about your evaluation. You love what you are doing. And that's what a speaker looks for most. And if I come and give an evaluation, Abigail, your speech was so beautiful. You did a lot of impact. Compare that with you coming up. Abigail, you did this so right. You did that so well. Very, very beautiful. But that passion comes on screen. It's important. That gives the speaker the confidence. A couple of areas. So is it only me or uh, nobody is able to hear Saurav? No, no, we lost you for a while. I think uh, you're fine now. Can you hear me now? <laughs> yes, we can hear you now. Yeah. Chaitanya, is she over type? Uh, yes, Saurav, she has exceeded the time by 30 seconds, the grace time. Yeah, so you understand, right? That's something that I would be wanting you to be very cautious about. See, at the end of the day, I would want all of you to contest, right? In the participate in the contest. And there, even a one second overtime can cost you dearly. So I don't want you to take that chance ever. Uh, remember, and why did you go overtime? Because you tried to explain too much and things that did not need an explanation. For example, that, um, you know, when you were talking about, uh, what was your first recommendation? I, I'm just missing that. Own your content own your content, right? So that is something that was well explained. That was a very good point to bring out. But did it need that kind of an explanation? I don't think so. The one, <laughs> the other thing is when you're giving a recommendation, try to identify what exactly you're trying to tell her to do. See, reading is not a problem. The problem what you were having is she was not making eye contact. Am I right? Right? That is the problem. She was not making an eye contact with you. So even if she is reading, she has to figure out one, obviously, you know, reading is not advisable because that will never make you a speaker, uh, Abigail. You'll be more like a news reader. That's not what you're here in Toastmasters for. But keeping that aside, because that's okay. I mean, many people do that at the starting stage. But try to maintain an eye contact. One of the ways is putting your notes here in front of right behind, beside the screen because you were looking there and that was something which was making very evident for us and we were getting a little dis, you know, distracted when you were not looking at us. So that is uh, what you need to explain to her, Neha, uh, rather than just saying, don't read it. Because obviously, see, no one reads by choice. You know, she doesn't uh, read because, you know, I'm so excited about reading my speech. She reads it because there's something that she's growing out of. And we have to give her that opportunity and also the reason for doing that. Great job. Uh, can we have a big round of applause for our speaker and evaluator too? Moving on, the next evaluator for today. Toastmaster Ayush Goyal. Toastmaster Ayush Goyal. Can you please come on camera? Oh, you're here there on camera. And let me spotlight you, the speaker, and also the timer so that we don't miss out on the time this time. Give me one second. I'm not able to find the watches. Here we go. You can get stuck. Thank you, Dean Sarup. First of all, I would like to applaud you, Tosma Devashish, for taking up this speech because taking up such a speech, such a vulnerable speech is not easy and you did full justice to it. So big applaud to you. Now, coming to the speech, at the start, uh, when you took a pause before starting, I thought what was happening. Then you came up with the word fear and everything was clear. You just created uh, an emotion in the audience of fear because of the time you took and the that certain period induced that anxiety and that that emotion that what the speech is about then you gave the oversight of the speech of the of your speech what was going to be in the speech you first hand told that you were going to tell some stories about yourself then you started with the stories you use you, you spoke out three stories and how, how emotions they created in you 
the, what painful experience they put in you and how did they impact their li- impact you in your life you went in full detail you were very structured in transitioning from one story to another you told in your speech that you are going to the next story now that put a good transition in the structure then you co- came to the steps steps where you overcame them the technique the the things you did so that you can overcome those fears now you can came to the summarization here also for transition you told that this now i'm moving to the transition and you told and uh, you summarize what uh, summarize the things that you learned that you learned from those painful experiences make loving memories let go of shame and letting go of pre- perfection then you came to the message you gave the audience the message that fear cultivates if grow, if cultivated grow stronger faith if cultivated created wonders so i would say the structure the speech was very well structured and it accomplished all the objectives of the speech only one thing that i would like to suggest in the structure is when you were summarizing your speech some summarizing speech you was you talked about three things that you learned now if you could just relate them that what thing you learned from which story that could create that would created a much better connection between the stories and the summarization that is the only recommendation from the structure part from my side now your tone while start while stating the story kept the audience fixed it was slow it was slow pitch slow tone which was great for the for the kind of story that you were telling and it kept the audience hooked and in the emotion that you wanted now when you were going to the summarization and conclusion i would recommend that you that to increase your speech increase your tone because that was the point of growth and that should come from a uh, from position of strength and if told louder with a bold body language it could have created a bigger bigger impact so overall it was a great speech and all the best for your future speeches back to you general valuator thank you so much toastmaster ayush um a very clinical evaluation and and some very pertinent points that you know at which so you didn't say generally that you should bring some changes in your body language or some change in your vocal variety i like the fact that you said exactly where you should be bringing in the body language this is important this is very important because giving a generic feedback that improve your body language that, that all of us can do you know without even listening to the speech any every speaker has a scope to improve their body language right i don't need to attend the meeting for telling that but to say here is where you should do this that is something that was well done uh what you could have done better is avoid what i call is the summary trap what you had is what i call is the summary trap the summary trap is where the evaluator ends up doing a summary of the speech rather than doing an analysis of the speech there's a difference a summary trap is where you are telling this is what you said this is what you said this is what you said evaluation or analysis of a speech is where you tell the speaker this is what you said why is was that important and what we learned from it or at least this is what you said and why did why did you said it and why was that important or this is what you said and how you could have said it better and why would saying like that make it make a difference so that analysis moving try to move gradually from summarization to analysis you have a very wonderful uh, mentor who actually knows this very well so if you work with your mentor i'm pretty sure that this is something that you can improve on now coming to you devashish devashish do you know you are actually a very very you know you have all the qualities of being a very strong speaker do you do you know that already then if you don't know that then hear it from me uh, you know i am uh, i have been uh, the i've been fortunate enough to mentor a lot of good speakers at the gabies and beyond so that way i know a little bit about what are some of the qualities of a strong speaker and i see that in you one is your voice your voice has a very strong effect on the audience the second is your screen presence right when you came at the beginning and you stood in front of the screen i'm like okay this is intense and then you started off that very calm that stop and then start you know there's something that's coming my way i was looking forward to it and the best part you are learning 
you're growing and I see you growing exponentially from your first icebreaker speech. I still remember. And um, I know I can take the liberty of saying this. You did not even complete 30 seconds or 40 seconds, right? You somehow managed to just say something which was not making a mark really. But today, what you did, man, I mean, seriously, impressive, damn impressive. I'm really, really moved by your speech. Just take into consideration Ayush's suggestions. You are going to do wonders. Just bring in that right impact at the right moment and you're done. Great job. Thank you so much. Thank you. Congratulations to both the speaker and the evaluator. Thank you. Can we have the third evaluator now? The distinguished Toastmaster Nagesh Ramamurti evaluating Toastmaster Megha Jetwani, the third speaker. Thank you. Is the speaker there? Yeah, there she is. Thank you. Thank you. I can see her. Toastmaster Mega, if I tell you I loved your speech, I'll be lying. I loved your speech, stage presence today, and I loved your speech just for one reason. Just for one reason. And that is the courage. The courage that you brought on the stage. The courage to start your journey, the courage to speak, and the courage to share. Let me explain that a little more. Your actual journey at Toastmasters is uh, because it gives you direction, it gives you clarity, and it gives you content. That's what we come here for, and we give our speeches. In level one, you mastered your fundamentals, and at level two, you're trying to find out what is your style? And you have found that very, very well, especially on your communication uh, uh, style. That's exactly what is required in level two, the speech, that you understand your communication style and then steer your way in level three, level four, and uh, level five, and even in your uh, professional life. Uh, you brought out those nuances where you are as far as your communication style is concerned. That's supportive. Secondly, I loved your confidence in speaking uh, Speaking while uh, you used good amount of great words. Uplift, inspire, and guide. Value, support, and understand. Disrespected, disheartened, and dis, uh, depressed. Style, tone, and approach. If you look at the way you have used these words throughout your speech, very sporadically, but yet effectively, makes you a very good uh, speaker. We were all ears for your uh, speech today. Very wisely used words is what I would say. Thirdly, courage to share. What did you share with us when you were trying to emphasize your communication style? That your son was not comfortable when he was bullied. You had a financial situation when something happened to your family. It's very... Uh, courageous to bring that over the stage and talk about it and uh, give intricate details of those two situations. It kudos to you because those pers these personal stories makes the speech very, very authentic. And you are an authentic speaker. That's why I loved your stage presence today. Now, I have only one suggestion for you uh, on this particular project. How did your style impact others is what I wanted to know more. You subtly, shortly, and uh, uh, otherwise you told us how it has impacted, how did you use that particular style. But I wanted to know more about how are you today using that style? How are you adding positivity to people? How are you uh, giving value to others with that particular style? Just one bit of that had it been in your speech, would have been much, much more greater. Thank you for giving that speech. May you have greater stage presence forward. Back to you, General Evaluate. Thank you so much, uh, Distinguished Toastmaster Nagesh Ramamurti. Again, a great evaluation. Uh, when you pick up specific words in a particular content, uh, then it shows how much invested are you in the speaker's speech. And that's what the first thing that a speaker looks for, the person evaluating me, is that person invested enough? Is that person actively listening? Or was that person hearing? I think you give that confidence when you pick that up. 
Uh, thank you so much and very pertinent recommendations. I don't have anything to add in terms of your recommendations here. Uh, Mega, uh, this is your first speech after, uh, I think this is the first, actually doing the first speech in Gabby's, right? So, um, and you are already using triads. You're already using rule of three rhetorical devices, which just shows that, you know, what kind of promise you hold. And I'm pretty sure you're going to rock the stage uh, going forward. And, you know, when I first got introduced to the Speechcraft Experience Program, and I heard that a few Toastmasters also joined for it, I always used to wonder that why do people join Speechcraft if they want to become a Toastmaster? They can join Toastmaster directly. I think you are the answer to that. Your first speech and the kind of confidence that you show is probably because of your Speechcraft journey, right, that has prepared you for this. So uh, great job, Neha, great job, uh, Megha, for uh, this particular speech. And thank you so much, the distinguished Toastmaster Nagesh. So can we have a big round of applause for our speaker and evaluator, please? I will now uh, invite the timer uh, to just quickly call out any disqualifications that we have had during this meeting. Uh, yes, channel evaluator. Uh all the speakers were within the time. All the prepared speakers are also within the time. For the evaluators, uh, just Neha uh, exceeded the time limit by 30 seconds. The rest all are within the time period. Great. Thank you so much. And Neha, that's totally okay. Um, we, uh, as Chitrakshi puts it, there has to be something that you need to learn from every meeting, right? For us, the Gabbies, it's time management. It's not only you, we are also exceeding the time. So I would request one of the members, uh, one of the officers to prepare, maybe the PO to propose an extension of 10 minutes and one of the members to second it uh, so that we can wrap it up in 10 minutes more. Um, so moving on, uh, can I request the R counter to please present their report? Toastmaster Prabha. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry, I'm sharing my screen. Sorry, I was listening to uh, your evaluation, so I forgot to uh, total the numbers, but I'll still share my uh, screen. It's okay. Yeah, I will give you the screen sharing rights, uh, but would you would you mind coming on camera? We would uh, love yeah. to see you. Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, um, are you able to see my screen? Yes, but we are not able to see you, but we can continue. Um, Okay. I'm yeah. going to yeah. the total fillers uh, right after uh, the screen share and share it in the chat. I was actually busy listening to you, so I forgot to add the numbers. No worries. Uh, okay. So I think um, that's the our counter report. Thank you so much, our, our counter, Toastmaster Prabha. And now we move on to the session that I am very, very grateful of today, which is the grammarian's report from the principal. So oh, over to you, uh, over to you, Toastmaster Samita. Thank you, to distinguished Toastmaster Saurav. Uh, this is the first time I'm doing it. And uh, yeah, I was also looking forward to it. As you said, every state is a learning, every meeting is a learning. And so this is my learning today that this is a tough role, no doubt. I have been doing it in a different state and different form for many years. But uh, yeah, I found it difficult today because the speeches were so engrossing that sometimes I forgot to note down what I was supposed to note down. But what I did note down was that uh, the word of the day was used by Dityam Saurabhata. Beautiful use of words like her spirit breaking, listening ears, resilience can bloom, and so on. A lovely triad being used by Megha, which has already been shared by uh, DTM Nagesh, I'm not repeating it, but my recommendation, some places what I felt can be used in a better way, why sharing, which can be, why am I sharing, come into front of me, that can be, come in front of me, just push button, push the button would be a better way of expressing it. This is my observation from today's meeting. Uh, thank you and over to you. 
Stadium, sorry. Thank you so much, uh, Toastmaster Samita, uh, and um, great job with the with the with the grammarians report. You actually, you know, I think people were scared, honestly. But then the way you came across, you were definitely not a principal. You were like that that very sweet and kind class teacher that we always love to attend the classes for, right? And we were very sad when they were absent in school. You were like that today. So thank you so much for being there. Uh, Trivini, I'll call you in a, in a slight while after I finish my evaluation report so that, uh, you know, you can also test the evaluation yeah. overall. So oh. can we remove the spotlight from Samita? Just a couple of, uh, maybe remove all the spotlights. Karthik, remove all the spotlights, please. Okay, done. So coming to the next role taker, the next set of role taker that we had, the table topic master. Um, this is the life of any Toastmaster meeting. And Jyoti, very wonderfully done. The topics were something that people could speak on. I could see a lot of volunteers. I think we had a record number of participants today and he accommodated that. That was partly the reason why we are over time though. And uh, that is something that we need to keep a tab on. I think more than Jyoti, it is the responsibility of the Toastmaster of the day and the timer uh, to alert the table topic master when we are going over time. Because you know that we have got three speech, three evaluations. So it will take a little bit of time, right? So that's that's the only thing. Yeah, one more thing. I was really happy that you called me as a table topic speaker, as a member. I was slightly disappointed as the general evaluator though, because TMOD, G, TTM, they already get enough stage time. Giving them another three minutes of stage time, depriving another member who did not get any stage time, that's not a good deal, right? So I think that is something that please keep in mind. So always try to do a mix of members, guests, uh, potential members, uh, yeah, new members. So if you have this healthy mix, then it always feels everyone included because, you know, it should not be like, okay, I've become a member, so I will not get table topics anymore. They only give it to guests so that they can get new members. That should not be the impression. On the other hand, guests should not feel, okay, they only give topics to their members. They don't even care for the guests. That should also not be the case. So that combination that, that is very important, which you did very well, except for one thing, which is inviting the role takers. Just, just try to avoid that to the extent possible. And role takers, my sincere request to you, if you're already a role taker or a speaker, try not to participate in the table topics in this particular meeting. There's like three meetings in a week that we have. Two of them have table topics section. It's an ample opportunity for you to do it. Great job. Thank you so much. Now, uh, one thing I want to particularly mention is in our meeting today, there's something which is very special. And we had two, uh, all the table topic speakers, but there are two speakers that I would want to talk about. One is Sudharma and one is Gihan. Um, you guys come from a country which uh, we really look up to because uh, the first the first WCPS uh, from South Asia came from that country, right? Toastmaster Dhananjay. And uh, not only for that reason, he's an inspiration to so many Toastmasters uh, that we have across the world. There's so much that I have learned personally from him before judging. I used to watch his speeches. And today, uh, your presence and your speech gave us enough reasons to understand why Sri Lanka is such a celebrated country in the world of Toastmasters. Thank you so much for joining our meeting and for giving the, the table topic speeches today, Sudharma and Gihan. Absolutely loved it. Thank you. Um, and with this, uh, overall, the meeting went very well. Uh, we could do slightly better on time. Again, we are like 10 minutes over. Let's try and get better with this every, every single meeting. But I've got one very important thing left before I hand over to the, um, to the preside, to the Toastmaster of the day, which is reading out the speech of someone that I promised. Yes, 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 Dina. So here you are on Spotlighted, Dina. And she is the birthday girl today. So we are going to read out her speech. Right. Okay, Dina. So tell me after I read your speech, whether you liked it. I, I think Karthik already read it, but there's no harm in reading it twice. The one is a gift and the other one is a return gift. My travel for Walt Disney for the past six years, the future will be going to Las Vegas for a pleasant and her future years are, of birthday are going to be in Las Vegas. I want to chip and, dan chip and dancer in Las Vegas. Then the future night in the club, be pleasant and drink lots of booze. Man, that's some grand plan, Dina, and you're going to surely do it. Happy birthday. Once thank you. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Happy birthday. Lovely speech. And we wish you all thank happiness you. in your life, Dina, going forward. Okay. With this, I will hand over uh, the... Thank you for the opportunity to become the general evaluator today. Back to the Toastmaster of the day, Toastmaster Karthik Venopopal.
thank you uh, toastmaster of the day uh, sorry thank you general evaluator dtm sir i'm sorry we have to call the listener i'm sorry i'm sorry yeah. we have to call the uh, triveni um, can you please invite her uh, karthik uh, can you please take over this yes session? yes yes I, I can thank you uh, general evaluator dtm sir of datta for your pertinent evaluation please give a big round of applause to dtm sir of datta okay now let me call upon the listener toastmaster triveni gali over to you Oh, wow. Thank you so much, Mr. Karthik. I am back with my questions. Are you ready to answer? I will ask a few questions. I exceeded the time. The first question is: What is the speech title of Toastmaster Abigail? Anyone? Okay. If nobody is answering, I'll answer. search for <laughs> self. Yeah. Correct. Yes, search for self. And the second question: What is it? Uh, who is a chartered accountant by profession? Devashish. Devashish. Yes, Toastmaster Devashish. And the third question: What is the communication style of Toastmaster Mega? Supportive. Yes. And the next question is. For whom headphone is an object for table talks? Uh, Melvia. Yeah. Toastma. Yes, Melvia. And next question is: Who was the person Toastmaster Neha wanted to meet if she had a time machine? Mahatma Gandhi. Oh. Sorry, could you repeat it? Mahatma Gandhi. उजिलरी रोल टेकर्स So now, dear Toastmasters and guests, well, time has remained. Uh, time travel has remained a topic of fiction, but well, let's not worry about past, because past is just past, and let's not worry about future. Constantly thinking about past and worrying about future can make it very difficult to enjoy your present. So it is always to think and focus on your present instead of your past and future. That's it. And well, I would like to conclude this uh, in my style. If you have some old stuff in home, just simply sell. If you are allowed to play, you are allowed to play with calling bell. One day I stepped down on on a banana peel and I fell. There was a frog named Froggy and it lived in a well. Sometimes when life becomes frustrating, we just say, "What is the hell?" I hope you all travel back in future and time with the theme time travel, time travel, time travel. With this, I uh, hand over the mic to. Our presiding officer, DTM Nagesh Ramamurthy. Over to you. Okay, so uh, I think uh, uh, DTM Nagesh Ramamurthy, you there? Yeah, I'm there. Yeah, please uh, over to you. Thank you. Thank you so much, DTM Odi. Thank you for your uh, wonderful words and the session. uh while we can't change the future we uh, change the present the past we can't we don't know the future but presently there is poll going on cast your votes now there is the second poll up Role takers. So you can continue with the closing. Maybe taking the guest comments. I'll oh, okay. Okay. Hold in the meanwhile. So can I can I request the guest to unmute yourself? Come on camera and tell us how did you feel about this particular meeting of us? Tuku, Linim, Gihan. Any of you would want to share a few words?
Anybody? Please unmute yourself. Yes, Gyan, you can go ahead. Sir, I, I didn't get you. Uh, just... Uh... I just wanted yeah, to yeah. see hear from you how did you like how did you like this meeting ah, okay okay actually it's great great pleasure and uh, it's a wonderful opportunity because uh, as toastmaster we are learning how to uh, we are developing our speaking skills leadership skills and also by doing that we are developing our networking this is uh, like that so we were trying to meet other clubs and other members so because of this uh, online platform it's now it's easy so it's great pleasure it's, and the the best thing is uh, like uh, your club the top of in world ranking also so we are very pleasure to be here thank you very much and last week also we joined uh, two times last uh, tuesday and thursday Okay. But Thursday, we couldn't be here much time, only 30 minutes we could be here because uh, there were another meeting, pre-planned okay. meeting. So, in future also, we are happy to join with you. Please Thank you very much. much all. Please come back. We'll be love to host you, have you and hear from you. Uh, anybody else? Toastmaster Shilpi, how are you feeling today after this meeting? Okay. Hi. <laughs> so, uh, yes, uh, what I found today is also I participated uh, second time. I spoke uh, second time. And uh, as the this topic, table topic, uh, is helping me to think critically. And, uh, okay, just a second. Yeah. So, helping me to, to think critically on, on the same. And uh, I'm, I'm improving myself. Uh, each, I mean, each uh, meeting I want to join. And uh, okay. now, as I spoke to uh, my, to Saurabh, to Nancy also, they, they, they say they drink uh, Toastmaster, they eat Toastmaster. So somehow it, it has been started in my mind. <laughs> now, <laughs> I got my uh, mentor also. I spoke to him also, Karthik. So now it's slowly, slowly I'm doing the same. Yeah. So it's started, so it's good for me. Very nice, very nice. You have also started sleeping and drinking, eating Toastmaster. Don't walk when you are uh, sleeping. That's all is my request. <laughs> Quick 30 <laughs> seconds from you, Megha. Yes, sir. I am so, so much elated and uh, thank you so much for inviting me to my own family. Uh, being into the Toastmaster, speaking, seeing all the lovely faces. And I now feel that uh, each and every one of us, especially me, you know, are full of flaws. Like they are flossom. And here, this this podium or this, you know, platform gives us to blossom and to become awesome. That's it, sir. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Now it's time we announce the results of the poll that we had. Let me quickly see where we are. Um, best tag role player. Who do you think is the tag role winner? Anybody? Toastmaster Samita. Toastmaster Samita. But keep your applause going because we have tied not once but twice. <laughs> we have never had it in Gabby's looks like. The timer, the grammarian, the listeners have got equal votes. Wow. What a performance. <laughs> First time. Thank you so much for your contribution to today's meeting, all of you. Now let's go to best auxiliary role taker. Sorry, the best uh, yeah, role a, the main role taker. Timon. Who said Timon? The gully gully gilly gilly guy. Gilly gilly, okay. <laughs> the gilly gilly man. Toastmaster Karthik Venagopal. 
the slapstick comedian of our club. So Neha didn't vote for me. No yes, vote Neha didn't vote for me after this, Neha. This, this time, no. <laughs> <laughs> so honest. Thank you. Now, best table topic speaker. Any guess? Sorrow. See, now Sita I voted. Sorrow. Sorrow. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, but is your vote enough for him to get the ribbon? Let's see. The best table topic speaker goes to Toastmaster DTM. Sorry, Dutta. This time oh. it worked. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> okay. Now we don't have uh, voting for best speaker today because we had an icebreaker. And now let's go to best evaluator. Who is the best evaluator? You, sir. <laughs> you, sir. Sir Okay. It's yours, truly. Thank you so much. With that announcement, I bring this uh, meeting to close. But however, there is another big announcement. In fact, two of them. It's my pleasure to announce that Gabby's family has got two members who have gone beyond the club to serve Toastmasters. Put your hands together for Toastmaster Dhwani Adesera, who has been selected as area director in District 117. And Toastmaster Aparna Raja also, in the same district, been selected to serve as an area director. We, from the family of Gabby's, we wish both of them a very big round of uh, congratulations. We are all there to support both of them and we wish them all the very best. So with that, I close this meeting number 141. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. Nagesh sir, best participant award for Dina. Uh, you forgot. Ah, oh, yes. I forgot the raised hand over there. How yeah. did I do that? Happy birthday, Dina. And the most enthusiastic and the best participation certificate ribbon goes to Toastmaster Dina. Congratulations, Dina. <laughs> <laughs> happy birthday have a rocking day and have lots of booze lots of booze at Las Vegas <laughs> <laughs> thank you bye thank you for coming uh, every time Diana and encouraging us to do meetings <laughs> So happy to hear from you. Thank you. So we will close the meeting now, Dina. See you on Tuesday. See you everyone on Tuesday at 7.30 p.m. Indian Standard Time. Till see then, you. Lovely enjoy week. your time. Bye. 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 Bye.